Hi there. Today we're going to be um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pop art journal page, and I'll show you how I'm going to be creating a black background. That's going to be really cool. So um, I chose this image, and the reason why I chose that particular image is that it used to be a mural in my office. So as you can see, it used to be like uh, as big as me, and I painted over it. But it used to be really inspiring, and I kind of missed it. And she looked kind of pop art, but um, uh, you're welcome to um, trace the uh, stencil that I provided for you. If you go in the description, you can just print the, um, the this photocopy and use a carbon paper to trace your illustration. So yeah, uh, she looks pop art. She's kind of fun holding a martini, kind of really cool. And the way we're gonna make her pop is by creating this really cool black background. So it's your, if it's your first time watching my videos, my name is Natalie and I love to just uplift and support women through creativity and the way I do that is through painting workshops, painting tutorials, also art, journaling and Bible journaling. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. So here you go. My black background is done with an oil pastel. I just draw, I just color the entire page going one direction uh, as much as possible, just diagonally. And I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, add the color until I like the effect. As far as surrounding my illustration, I wanted to create this kind of cloud effect, kind of a sh cloud shape. So that's what I'm doing right now around my illustration because I kind of want to do that polka dot kind of feel to, um, uh, to, to, my, um, to my page. So yeah, you're just going to use your black pastel and color your background however you want to do it. Uh, I'm kind of going uh, in little spaces right now, just, just covering everything, most of it, and I created an outline so that I don't have to go all the way to the edge. So I'm using my gelatos now for my illustration. I chose uh, pastel colors. You're welcome to use primary colors because as you know, any pop art uh, is very primary colors a lot of polka dots a lot of bright colors but i wanted to use pastels because with my black background i wanted it to um really pop and to balance out so i chose this really nice blue it's a foam blue uh, for the cloud behind my lady here holding her uh martini waiting for her date or not Maybe she's just hanging out on her own. So um, this again, it used to be my, this really cool mural. And I wrote, uh, how do I turn my passion into a business I love? That's a question I asked myself for years. And um, I'm happy to be doing just that now with a business that offers a uh, painting workshop. So I love it. And I also love doing the, those videos to inspire you in painting and uh, you know, doing some pastel and art journaling. I, pick a fun, I picked a fun quote today. It's by David Bowie. I miss him very much. What a beautiful artist. I just miss him a lot. Uh, you know, he was could have been creating so many more songs. But, um, oh, this is, by the way, this is the varnish I'll be using. So uh, the quote is, I don't know where I'm going from here, but I promise it won't be boring. David Bowie. Love it. So I'm just varnishing uh, over the pastel. First of all, because pastel can be messy. I want to seal my pastel onto my page. And I'm going to also use the varnish as a glue for my quote. Now, as far as painting, I mean, adding your varnish over the black, just be careful to not overlap on the light blue because it's, it, it would uh, transfer a little bit of the black. It would kind of smudge. So just use maybe a smaller brush, an angled brush, and slowly cover your 
black pastel. I really like the shine of the varnish. If you wanted to use a matte color, you can do that. So here's another pastel color I chose for her dress. A very nice light lilac. I love these pastel colors, but they also sell, sell uh, this is the Faber, Fiber Castell um, brand and those gelatos are really great um, you know when you use gelatos you can just use them as pastels like this or you can do all kinds of fun stuff with water or uh, you know baby wipes or just spraying on them and you know creating drips they're really really fun so I think I'll try to do a tutorial soon on uh, the different things you can do with uh, gelato pastels Right now I'm just using them as, um, you know, just as coloring tool. Speaking of tool, <laughs> I'm going to cut a few pieces of this uh, white trans kind of uh, transparent tool and I'm going to glue it as my background um, just to create a kind of a texture and with my varnish, I'm just gonna go over the tool. It kind of, you need to kind of be careful. It, it's very uh, light, so it kind of flies away. And I'm just doing kind of an X. You can apply your tool or, you know, whatever, um, um, like, texture that you would like to do over this you could do different kinds of ribbons or you can use uh, washi tape and just have fun add some pieces of washi tape or tool or fabric to your background i think it looks cool so i decided to do uh, like a metallic color for her hair so this is the metallic set uh, for the gelatos they have all kinds of different colors uh, you know I think it's nice to collect them you don't have to go and buy all the different sets all at once but over time I think it's nice to have to have all of them because you can do so much with them I love the metallic this is a really nice color I'm just creating the exact kind of shade that I wanted to do her hair um, I think a really cool way to do your pop art would be to use this like really bright yellow as her hair you could do like a yellow ha hairdo that would be really cool but um yeah I'm doing her jewelry with uh, this neon yellow and you see how when I go over the, the fabric, it just really picks up the brightness of your pastel or the gelato. So it looks really cool. That was fun. I just created a little bit more um, uh, interest uh, to my background. Just, just doing some free, uh, you know, pastel brush strokes, not brush strokes, but strokes here and there, just very, uh, very spontaneous and now I'm doing some roses why not I love the this really bright pink and uh, you could do some hearts you could do lips um, whatever you want to create I am doing little leaves on the side of the roses but feel free to uh, just create whatever shape you want to do you could just do some uh, geometric shapes because again it's very pop art you could do just lines stripes just polka dots now I'm using the same pink I did the roses with and uh, just creating that martini or could be a Cosmo <laughs> So my 
this beige color I really like it it's almost like a, a vanilla or unbleached white it looks cool now I decided to do my outlines so in any pop art again you're gonna have this black outline on everything uh, so that's gonna give a really cool effect to our illustration now I'm going to speed up the, vi the video a little bit, but you get the idea of just drawing over all your guidelines that you transferred for your illustration. So let's do that now. So here we are almost all traced up. I mean, all um, done with our black outline. Um, I wanna use brown in some of the areas of her face and um, just so you know for the sunglasses I used a blue black marker not a black I used a red orange for her lips this is just a crayon and a brown marker to outline her face I didn't want to do the outline of the face black so I used brown I now am doing the polka dots. This is my pop art element. You could add more. So at this point you could um, add polka dots on the like around or around your quote as well. I decided to outline the page with the light purple, just to make, a, make it look finished. I really like the look of my page. This was so much fun to create. last little outlines Here's a little close up. She's fun. I like her. I don't know where I'm going from here, but I promise I won't be boring. David Bowie. Last little step, I just used some bright pink paint and with the paintbrush I, just, I did a little bit of splatter. Not too much. So here she is again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, have fun with your art journaling. Uh, make a count, you know, just uh, put some music, have a little glass of wine, and invite a friend. As you can see, I was painting today with my friend Hope, and she created her page next to me as I was um, guiding her. Hey Hope, <laughs> she's a wonderful friend and it's fun to discover all kinds of tech techniques and try new things with her and we have a lot of fun and I love to be bringing those videos uh, to you so that you can do it at home and uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. So hey, if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Until my next video, stay creative. Bye.